Okay, so now let us try to use some examples to understand how do we form the algebraic expressions. So here is our first problem and this problem says that take Sarita's age, present age to be y years. So that is Sarita's age which is going to be y years. Now we have to answer these based on this assumption that her age currently is y years. So the first query is what will be her age five years from now? So as we learned earlier her age currently is y, y years and 5 years from now which means I have to add phi to her current age so that is y plus 5 so her age after 5 years will be y plus 5 now the second question says that what was her age 3 years back so now all we know is her current age and her current age as we know is y now if I want to know her age 3 years back what I'm going to do is simply subtract 3 from it so her age 3 years back is y minus 3 now we have another question which says that her grandfather is 6 times her age what is the age of her grandfather now 6 times the age what does that imply it simply implies that if Sarita's age is y years then her grandfather's age is simply 6 multiplied by her age or we can also write it as 6 y years so this is Sarita's grandfather's age now the next question is about the age of her grandmother so her grandmother is 2 years younger than her grandfather now what is her grandmother's age now this kind of builds upon the third question that we had so what it says is that her grandmother is two years younger than her grandfather so we need to know the grandfather's age and but from our earlier third question we know that her grandfather's age is 6y so what we essentially do is subtract two years from her grandfather's age to get the grandmother's age of Sarita so her grandmother's age is 6y minus two years and then we have the fifth question which says that Sarita's father's age is 5 years more than 3 times her age. Now let us try to understand this uh, thing. This is a bit confusing but if you understand it slowly you will get it. It says it is 5 years more than what? 3 times Sarita's age. So first we need to get 3 times Sarita's age and then add 5 to it. So 3 times Sarita's age is 3 times y that is 3y years okay so this we get 3y and but her father's age is 5 years more than this so we add 5 to this term so her father's age is 3y plus 5 years so now in this example what we learned is if we are given a statement how do we convert that into an algebraic expression let us look at another similar example now in this question we have a rectangular hall it says the length of a rectangular hall is 4 meters less than 3 times the breadth of the hall now how do we understand this so first let us imagine that we have a rectangle hall like this and now we are supposed to find out the length this length L provided we know the breadth so the B we have to assume that the breadth is B meters and the length they say is 3 times is 4 meters less than 3 times the breadth of the hall so now we have to represent the length in terms of the breadth so now we have already used the variable L to represent the length of the hall now let us try to break the statement into two terms it is four meters less less means subtraction and three times the breadth of the hall so three times the breadth of the hall is 3b and uh, when you say less four meters so it has to be subtracted four meters so the length is 3b minus four meters 
So essentially, this is how we can convert another statement into an algebraic expression. Let us continue more. So now we have another example where we say that a rectangular box has height h centimeters. So we know the height of the rectangular box. Okay, its length is pi times the height and the breadth is 10 centimeter less than the length. And we are asked to express the length and the breadth of the box in terms of the height because we know the height. So in these type of problems, it's good to imagine that we have a rectangular box. So you can just imagine a box like this. This is a rectangular box here. And we are told that we know its height, which is h. Now we don't know what is this. And we don't know what is this, the breadth. So this we can represent using L and this can be breadth, length and breadth. But we know that it is h and we know the length and breadth in terms of height from the problem. So let us start one by one. So first says that its length is phi times the height. Now this is pretty simple. So length equals phi times the height which is h. So this is what we get for the length and this will be in centimeters. Now let us look at the breadth. The breadth is 10 centimeter less than the length. Now we already know the length from the earlier solution. So we have 5h minus 10 centimeters. So this is the breadth of the box. So these were three examples which we in which we learned how do we convert the statements into algebraic expression. In the next session we will see more examples of this type.